Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Hooked in Loop. If you have still not subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and for getting updates of new videos, click the bell icon. Today I will show you how to make this beautiful crochet pot holder. I have done a solid granny square and made the horns popping out of it. So let's begin. I will take the yarn and firstly make a magic circle. Okay. So and secure the magic circle with a slip stitch. Followed by a chain 3 which will denote the first double crochet of this round. Then in the magic circle I am going to do a double crochet. Okay. After the double crochet do a chain 2 and then in the magic ring we are going to do 3 double crochets. Okay, after that, chain two and do three more double crochets. And then again, chain two and Three more double crochets. Okay. And after that again chain 2 and a final double crochet in the magic circle. Since we began with 2 double crochets so this is the last double crochet to that set. After that the slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain 3 of this round. So our central square is ready. Okay. Then we are going to slip stitch in the uh, adjacent double crochet at the back. Um, uh, okay. After the slip stitch into the chain two space. Okay. Then do chain three, which is the first double crochet of the second round followed by a double crochet in the same chain 2 space. We are going to do chain 2 and 2 more double crochets in the same chain 2 space. So this is the first corner of the second round which is ready. So now we are going to begin with the uh, sides of the square. The first stitch I have done one double crochet. Now I am going to do the popcorn stitch. For that we are going to uh, take another yarn and slip that in a stay into the loop of the green colored yarn. Okay, followed by a chain one to secure it. Okay, then in the next stitch of the previous round, I am going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. We will then pull the loop like this, take out the hook, insert the hook in the first purple double crochet, okay, then insert the hook in the loop of the last double crochet, pull that loop through that stitch and your popcorn stitch is ready. Now from the back, I am going to take the cream colored yarn and yarn over and pull it through that loop followed by chain 1 to secure that popcorn stitch. Now in the last stitch of the previous round the, in the loop I am going to do one double crochet okay so one side is ready then we are going to do two double crochets in the chain 2 space of the previous round okay so it is done and then chain 2 and 2 more double crochets in the same space ok now I am going to do a double crochet in the next stitch of the previous round then we are going to slip stitch the purple colored yarn through that loop from the back ok 
followed by chain 1 to secure it. And in the following stitch of the previous round, I am going to do a pop on stitch as I showed earlier. Okay. Pull the loop, insert your hook in the first double crochet, then insert your hook in the loop and pull that through the stitch. So your popcorn is ready. From the back, I'm going to slip stitch the cream colored yarn and do a chain one, and then I'm going to do one double crochet in the following double crochet stitch of the previous round. Then I'm going to do uh, uh, two double crochets in the next chain two space, followed by chain two and two more double crochets in the same space. I hope you understood the order and uh, how to do this round. So continue like this till you reach the end. We are beginning the last set. So, first stitch we are going to do one double crochet. We are going to slip stitch the purple colored yarn from back and secure it with a chain one. Then, in the following stitch, I am going to do a popcorn stitch with that purple colored yarn. Okay, for that, in the following stitch, we are going to do three double crochets. Now this last uh, pop on stitch I'm doing in the first chain 3 of the previous round okay where you have slip stitched so be careful uh, with this one okay because the stitches are a little bit tight you may feel a little, little bit difficulty but it's okay it's nothing hard after the three double crochets we'll do the popcorn okay that is insert your hook in the first double crochet and pull the loop through it okay and then finally uh, slip stitch the cream colored yarn from the back and do a chain one and then we are going to do the last double crochet okay of this round so it's ready and then slip stitch in the third chain of the first chain 3 of this round to complete it. So the back will look like this. At the end just cut the extra yarn. Okay so it's ready and then we are going to slip stitch in the following stitch like this. Okay. After the slip stitch into the chain 2 space. And begin the next row with a uh, next round with a chain three, which is the first double crochet of that round, followed by a double crochet in the same space. Okay, then we are going to do a chain two. Now, in the same space, do two more double crochets. We are beginning the the side of the square. Okay, then. In the first stitch of the previous round, okay, we are going to do one double crochet, and then I'm going to slip stitch an indigo colored yarn from uh, and secure that with a chain one. Okay. After that, 
in the following stitch I am going to do 3 double crochets that is the popcorn stitch I hope you understood how to do the popcorn stitch now I am showing this again uh, like this first do 3 double crochets and then pull the loop like this insert your hook in the first double crochet and pull that loop to this stitch okay it's ready now from the back take the cream colored yarn and slip stitch that or by chain 1 okay then in the following stitch we will do a double crochet we are going to do one more double crochet in the popcorn stitch of the previous round okay it's done and in the following stitch I'm going to do one more double crochet now I'm going to take the indigo colored yarn and slip that into this loop followed by chain 1 to secure it and do another popcorn in the following stitch after your popcorn is ready we are going to slip stitch the cream colored yarn and then do the last double crochet of this side and then two more double crochets in the following chain two space so as you can see between the two popcorn stitches there are three double crochet stitch okay and in this uh, in the previous round there was one popcorn this round there are two popcorns so in the following round there will be three pop popcorns and it will continue like this into space we did two double crochet followed by chain two and then two more double crochets now we are going to begin the next side so as earlier we will begin with one double crochet followed by one popcorn then three double crochets again one popcorn then one double crochet and then in the chain two space two more double crochets so the next round will be uh, completed in this manner We have completed this entire round and end it with a slip stitch in the third chain of the first chain three of this round. Followed by slip stitch in the next double crochet stitch of the previous round, then slip stitch in the chain two space of the previous round. So our second round is also ready and in the third one with a chain three, which will remove the first double crochet and then one more double crochet in the same chain two space. Okay. And then after that we will chain 2 and then do 2 more double crochets in the same chain 2 space the corners are always going to contain 2 double crochets chain 2 and 2 double crochet ok and we will begin the side with 1 double crochet followed by slip stitch the sky blue colored yarn like this through that uh, loop ok Followed by chain 1 to secure it. 
something like this and then we will we are going to do one popcorn stitch in the following uh, stitch of the previous round Then we will slip stitch the cream colored yarn followed by chain 1 okay to secure that stitch and then in the next stitch we are going to do one double crochet followed by one double crochet in the popcorn stitch of the previous round and then again one double crochet in the following stitch again we are going to slip stitch the sky blue colored yarn from back okay and then do a popcorn stitch in the following stitch and we will continue like this that is popcorn followed by a slip stitch from back the green colored yarn chain one and then we are going to do three double crochets in the following three stitches okay and then again a pop part so in this way this round uh, this side contains three popcorn as I said it will increase arithmetically that is in the first round there was one second round there were two and in the third round there are three so like this I hope you understood the pattern and complete it likewise Also, if you see carefully, after the uh, uh, for corner two double crochets, we did chain two, and then we are going to begin this side. That is, with two double crochet followed by one more double crochet, then a popcorn. So technically, there are three stitches, then a popcorn, then again three uh, stitches, then again a popcorn, again a three stitches, and again a popcorn, then again three stitches, followed by chain two. So the pattern is like this okay and for the uh, corner we have always the chain 2 and then we will again begin the next side okay after, so we have nearly completed this round and then after the last uh, double crochet we will slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain 3 of this round okay as earlier we are again going to proceed that is slip stitch in the following stitch and then slip stitch in the chain 2 space for the next round ok now I am going to begin the next round with chain 3 again and like this we will continue doing all our rounds in each round I have chosen uh, to do with the colors of rainbow ok so you will proceed like that and
as I said, the colors uh, popcorns are occurring like a triangle. That is in the first round one, second round two, next round three, and in the fourth round four. And it will proceed in this way. After the chain two, we had three double crochets, then popcorn again, three double crochets, then again popcorn. In this way. Uh, we have done many such rounds and now I will begin the last one okay with the red colored popcorn we will slip stitch in the chain 2 space as earlier and do our chain 3 as the first double crochet of this round followed by a double crochet in the same space okay then again chain 2 and begin the next side so with the two double crochets in the same chain to space of the previous round okay then in the following stitch i'm going to do one double crochet and then i'm going to slip stitch the red colored uh, loop through that stitch followed by chain one to secure it then in the following stitch i'm going to do a popcorn stitch as i showed earlier that is three double crochets and then pull the loop insert your hook in the first double crochet and pull that loop through this stitch and your popcorn is ready from the back slip stitch the green colored yarn okay followed by chain one to secure it and then in the following three stitches one double crochet each and we will proceed like this that is after the three double crochets okay we are going to do a popcorn again so proceed like this slowly till you complete this round. Slip stitch in the third chain of the first chain 3 of this round after your last double crochet of this round followed by slip stitch in the next stitch then slip stitch in the chain 2 space followed by chain 3 okay, to start the next round so our popcorn portions is ready now we are going to do only double crochets after the chain 3 do one double crochet in the same space followed by chain 2 then again two more double crochets okay like this and in the all the remaining stitches do one double crochet each okay and complete this this round In the chain 2 space we are going to do 2 double crochets followed by chain 2 and again 2 double crochets in the same space 
and then proceed with one double crochet in each of the stitches of the previous round. Okay. the end we will slip stitch in the third chain of the first chain 3 followed by uh, chain 1 okay you can leave it as it is if you want to make it a center piece or since i'm making a pot holder i will need to make the hanging portion hanging loop too for that i did 30 chains and then slip stitch into the second stitch after the chain 2 space okay of the previous round after the slip stitch I am going to turn our work and do a chain 1 to secure the slip stitch and we are going to do single crochets around the chains we made ok like this make as many single crochet as you wish and then at the end when you have completed all your single crochets just slip stitch into the uh, stitch where you had begun doing your chains and do a chain 1 and then cut the yarn so weave in all your extra ends and your pot holder is ready I hope you liked this tutorial if you liked this tutorial then please hit the like button comment in the comment section for any queries and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day